Hi everyone, if you are someone who has taken the drop for your gate preparation, then this video is for you. It could be your first drop, it could be your second or, or it could be your third, any drop it could be. So I know like what uh, you guys must be going through, like your batchmates have been doing some job, they are living their life in Bangalore, Hyderabad or Gurgaon and uh, here you are preparing for gate. I know what kind of feeling uh, it would be for you and uh, you must have been feeling like some guys would be very motivated for your examination and some guys might be feeling depressed that they are not able to make it to, to the examination. So the most important thing in this time is that you need to keep your motivation high no matter what is your, what is the level of your preparation just keep your motivation high and just believe that you are going to do very well in your examination once examination is done there there are plenty of opportunities that you can go through so just have a clear mindset that whatever that i have studied i am going to do well in the examination just by using those concepts just by using those subjects only okay so now what should be a perfect strategy for you guys that how you should prepare in the remaining days because some guys are asking the same thing in the comment section as well. So yeah, let's start now. So we will divide this video into three categories. First category that you are almost done with your syllabus. Maximum you are left with one subject. Either you are done with the complete syllabus or you are left with one subject. Now what you need to do, you need to divide your day in three slots. And each slot would be of at least three hours. Okay, minimum you need to divide in three slots. That means... 3 hours, 3 hours and 3 hours. So at least 9 hours you need to study. If you are able to divide in 4 slots, that's good for you. But at least 3 slots I am asking. Now if you are left with one subject, then in the first slot, I am asking you to prepare that subject, which you are left with. Let's just say I am left with EMFT. So in the first slot, I will prepare EMFT. From 9 to 12, I am preparing EMFT. I am studying EMFT from scratch, from whatever that you are following, you, you follow from there and study EMFT from scratch. Then in the second slot from 2 to 5, I will do the revision, revision of any subject. Let's just say I am not much comfortable with signal system, I am not much comfortable with the digital electronics. So I will do the revision of that subject. And how would I do the revision that I have already told? You can solve the problems, you can watch other lecture as well, which are available on YouTube. Quickly you can watch the lecture and understand the things which you did not know. Or you can solve some problems from anywhere if you get any DPP, PYQs, try solving the problems. Revise your notes. There are plenty of ways of doing the revision. Right. I hope you have a clear idea of how to do the revision. Otherwise, you can go to our playlist. Uh, the name of the playlist is a Gen 1 guidance where I have told you how to do the revision strategy. Here I am just telling you a day to day, like a day roadmap of a day that how you need to proceed. So first slot, I am doing the subject which I am not. I am doing the subject which I haven't completed. In the second slot, I am doing the revision which I am not comfortable with. And in the third slot, I will write down the test. Now it could be subject wise test, it could be topic wise test, it could be combined subject wise test. But I am not going to write full length test as of now. Okay. I am not writing full length test. I am only writing topic wise, subject wise or combined subject wise. Full length test I am keeping it for January month. So once you are comfortable with topic wise test, once you are comfortable with subject wise test. So in January you will be able to do very well in your full length test as well. Okay. So in the three hour of road I will try to write two tests and I need to analyze that as well. Okay. Not only writing it. I need to analyze that as well. So it would take more than three hours, I guess. It would take three hours to four hours. So that slot will be for test. Now daily you do not need to write the test, right? Daily you are not writing the test. Daily you are not writing two tests. If you are able to make it, then you can do it. But if you are not able to write daily two, two tests, then in the third slot, you can again do the revision. First slot, I am studying the subject. In second slot, I am doing the revision. In third slot, I am writing down the test. But if I am not writing down the test daily, then in the third slot, I will do the revision of any subject, right? It could be any subject which I am comfortable with or I am not comfortable with. So I will be doing the revision and then uh, like in uh, like but at least in seven days I would be expecting that at least four days you are writing down the test in third slot because you are done with the 90% of your syllabus. Okay. So let me pause the video once. Yeah. Sorry for the interruption. So for those guys who are done with the 90% of the syllabus, what is the conclusion? You need to do the subject in the first slot, second subject revision, third slot, either you should do the revision or you should write down the test series. Okay. Now those guys who are left with two, two subjects, two or more subjects, or I should say maximum two subjects. If you are left with maximum two subjects, then you also need to divide your day in three slots. Slot one, slot two and slot three. In slot 1, you will be doing your first subject. In slot 2, you will be doing your second subject. In the slot 3, you will be doing the revision. Okay. So now this is how you need to proceed. Slot 1, let, let's just say from 9 to 12, I am studying my subject 1, which I am not, which I haven't completed. It could be assuming it, it is EMFT. So from 9 to 12, I am doing EMFT. Then from 2 to 5, let's just say I haven't done my uh, signal system. So from 
two to five i am doing signal sign system and now in the last load i will be doing the remaining i will be doing the revision uh, it, it the slot could be of any time it, it's up to you it could be from 9 to 12 it could be from 6 to 9 so in that slot i will be doing the revision if you are able to make one more slot then it is good for you so in the revision what i would be doing i would i would be solving the problems of those subjects which i am not comfortable assuming that i am not comfortable with digital electronics so i'll be solving the problems of digital electronics now every day in the third slot you will not be doing the revision let's just say first day i did the revision in the first slot second day also i did the revision in the first uh, third slot but uh, on the third day i will write down the test series so conclusion is that in the first and second slot i am studying my subject but in the third slot at some day i will be doing the revision and some day i will be writing down the test series so if you are a dropper then i hope at at max you are left with two subjects because since you are a dropper then you ha you had enough time for your preparation so at max you must be left with two subjects or if you are left with more than two subjects then i would recommend you to complete only two subjects like this is not the time of completing the whole syllabus so if you are left with more than two subjects then i would recommend that cover only two subjects that that is up to you you can write down in the comment section as well that sir i am left with this, this subject which two subjects i need to pick okay so you cannot complete the whole syllabus if you are left with three or more subjects you need to do only two more subjects so you can write it down in the comment section i will tell you which two subjects you can proceed with okay so that is clear to you in the conclusion for those guys who are left with one subject first slot should be for you're studying the subject second slot should be for revising the previous subject and third slot will be for test series and someday you can revise the previous subject as well and those guys who are left with two subjects they will be doing their uh, first subject in first slot second subject in second slot and in the third slot they will be doing the revision someday they will be doing the revision and th someday they will be writing that test series so in that manner if you proceed in your preparation then it would be pretty good for you and if you are able to make four slots that's pretty good for you in the fourth slot you can analyze your test series you can analyze whatever that you are lagging behind so the the like this time is to focus more on the revision now i'm not saying that do not even do the next subject but do the next subject make sure to divide your day in the slot like if you are doing the next subject completely let's just say i haven't done emft and complete day i am studying emft then you will mess up your preparation that's why i am saying in this particular time in this time you cannot do new subject whole day you have to divide your day in the slots slowly you need to proceed with the new subject and you need to cover up the previous subject as well so in that manner you need to proceed that's why i have asked you to divide the day in slots so that sometime you give to the new subject and sometime you are revising the previous subject as well okay yeah so i hope you found this video helpful you can if you are having any other query you can comment down and i will try to answer that thank you very much